Hey, it's the first week of walleye fishing here in the state of Minnesota, and that means we're gonna have some pretty darn good table fare. We just got, just got off the water, harvested a few walleye, and of course, that's maybe one of the most delicious fish and fresh water to eat. But the question is, Brian, can you make them taste even better? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's start in the rain. Let's get our fish and go in. First step is I like to bleed them out. And what I do is I just make a little cut right underneath the gills here. Cut that out. I'll drop them back in the box and they'll bleed out. Pull the plug and by the time I get back, it'll all be gone. So when it comes to cutting fish, if I've got a few, one or two fish, just me and the missus to eat, this is my go-to knife. I just love a straight blade, it's easy to cut, but we had pretty good luck and, and got quite a few walleyes and we're gonna be eating good this week. So I like to have two different tools for the job. One is an electric, this is the lithium ion cordless. That's easy to rip through the sides of the fish. I'll take the sides of the fish off, I'll hand them over to Brian, he's gonna take the ribs and the, and the mud vein out of the fish from there, so that's a pretty easy process for us to just run through a bunch of fish really quick. So the question is, how do you make walleyes taste even better than they do? And this is one of the tricks right here that Brian just pulled out. That's what you might refer to as a, as a mud vein, as a, as a bloodline. It's where the, uh, the lateral line runs right through here. So by removing this from the fish, you're taking out a lot of that really fishy flavor. This zone in the fish, the bones connect to the outside of the skin. It's where a lot of the circulatory nerves are, and that's where a lot of the fishy stuff comes from, right, Brian? Right, it's also where, um, uh, you know, like you said, nerve and blood components are all contained in here, contaminants, and by removing them, the challenge would be, if you take it out, is it gonna taste better? You just turn the filet over on the posterior side, make a little incision, and this will just freely tear apart like this where it gives you two pieces to the filet. So you got your clean piece here where it's all stripped out. And I can either cut through the length of here or I can make another starter incision, which I just did. Peels right apart. So you've got two clean, fresh, tasty pieces of walleye. And they strip some mud vein. Go in the trash. One thing I like to do when you get the flays off the skin and the bones out is, is soak them in a salt bath. That seems like that really pulls out any of the, the blood that's left over and any of the fish contaminants and it really cleans up the fish. So I'll maybe throw like a half a cup of salt in a bowl like this, mix it up till it's a nice salt water solution. Make sure it's nice cold water and we'll just let the flays soak in there until we're done. All right, now that all the work's done, we've got all the the meat off the fish, you can see how beautiful, beautiful that is. There's no dark meat in it. We've led the fish, fish out early. We kept them cool. It's nice, clear meat. And then soaking in salt water, you can just feel it on the fish. It's pulling out any contaminants. It's just a beautiful piece of meat. If you take care of the fish, first of all, it's about preparation, making sure you've got ice, a cooler, bleeding them out, cleaning them off, taking that mud vein out. And then the last step would be to rinse the fillets in nice cold water. And once they're rinsed, we'll, we'll dry them off. We'll put them in a Ziploc bag with a couple paper towels, seal it up, and that's a great way to care for your catch.